So we're going to do a coordinate geometry problem involving circumcenter. I figured I'd do it on paper and work it out because I, I write so big on the smart board. So it's easier to do it on paper. Um, so we're asked to find the coordinates of the circumcenter of a triangle that has the following coordinates. So A is 0, 3, B is 6, negative 1, and C is 10, 3. And you can see that um, I actually graphed the triangle which you don't need to do that and actually I usually don't do that but it's good to show you as the first example. Now we have to remember what circumcenter is. Okay, Remember that the circumcenter is the point of concurrency with the perpendicular bisectors. Okay, So if I'm looking to find the coordinates of the circumcenter I need to deal with two pieces of information. The fact that we have perpendiculars and bisectors. Perpendicular lines we should be thinking about slopes, right? For perpendicular, we should be thinking about opposite reciprocal slopes. When we're talking bisectors, we should be thinking about midpoints. And since the circumcenter is a point of concurrency, we know that any two of the perpendicular bisectors will intersect at the circumcenter. Okay, so we really only need to find two of the perpendicular bisectors. We don't have to do all three. So the first side that I'm going to deal with with the side of the triangle is probably the easiest one, which is that horizontal side, which is AC, segment AC. Okay, now the perpendicular bisector will be intersecting this segment at its midpoint. That's what bisect means, at its midpoint, and then be perpendicular to it, meaning its slope is going to be the opposite reciprocal of this slope. So, Hopefully I write green, you can see that. Could you see that? Yeah. So we're going to be looking at segment AC first, okay? So the slope of segment AC, remember that slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I, uh, and, and if you know already the slope of a horizontal line, that's zero, right? But let's say you don't remember that and you're going to substitute in your values. So that's going to be 3 minus 3 over 10 minus 0, which we know is 0. Okay? So the opposite reciprocal, the perpendicular slope for the perpendicular bisector is going to be undefined. And undefined is a vertical line, and vertical lines are written as x equals. Now we have to figure out what is that x equals going to be, right? We, we'll be able to find that out by looking at its midpoint. So the next thing that we have to do for segment AC is find the midpoint. Remember the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2. So I'm going to substitute in my values. So um, let's see, we're going to get x's, so it's 10 plus 0 over 2 comma 3 plus 3 over 2. So the midpoint is at the point 5 comma 3. So if the perpendicular bisector is passing through the point 5, 3, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's the midpoint here, right? And it's going to be a vertical line passing through M. So that's where x equals 5. So that means the equation of this line is at x equals 5. Okay, so I could actually put 5 back in here. Okay, so switching colors, we now want to find the equation of another line. So you can pick either side that's left of the triangle. I'm going to pick, let's see, let's do AB. I'm going to look at AB, just because I like using a zero sometimes, okay? So if I'm going to be looking at AB, I first need to find the slope of AB. So remember, here's our equation, y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So negative 1 minus 3 over 6 minus 0. So that's negative 4 over 6, which is negative 2 thirds. So that means that the perpendicular slope that we're going to be using is positive 3 halves. Now, we also know that it's going to be passing through the midpoint of segment AB. So the midpoint is going to be 0 plus 6 over 2, 3 plus negative 1 over 2, and that's going to equal 3 comma 1. So the midpoint is at 3, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. What? No. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> one, two, three, one. Yeah, duh. There it is. There's that midpoint. Okay. So the perpendicular bisector is going to have this slope of three halves passing through this midpoint. So what we need to do is figure out, okay, well, what's the equation of that line? Because then we can find the intersection of those two lines to then figure out the circumcenter. Okay. So we're going to be using y equals mx plus b where this is the M right here at that perpendicular slope and this is your X and Y which is the midpoint that the line passes through. So we're gonna substitute in we get 1 equals 3 halves times 3 over 1 plus B. Move up a little bit here. Okay so multiplying out we get 1 equals 9 halves plus B subtract 9 halves so 9 halves is 4 and a half. So this is what? Negative, negative 7 halves equals b. So the equation of this line is y equals 3 halves x minus 7 halves. Now the circumcenter is going to be at the place where the two perpendicular bisectors intersect. So the first per perpendicular bisector equation is x equals 5. And the second is y equals 3 halves x minus 7 halves. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is solve this system. Well, we already have the x value, right? So the y value is going to come from substituting in 5 in for that x. So Substituting in 5, we get y equals 3 halves times 5 over 1 minus 7 halves. This is 15 halves minus 7 halves, which is 8 halves, which equals 4. Therefore, our circumcenter is at 5 comma 4. Fun stuff. Look at all that math we did. Yay.